me the most important part of the Caesar salad is that dressing. Rich, creamy, slightly spicy. Begin by making a basic mayonnaise. Start off with the egg yolks in just a little spoon, Dijon, and then a little splash of red wine vinegar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. This is not something that we were supposed to talk about, right? We're talking about the Vindictus boss, right? So let's roll to it. Hello, my friends. This is Legend over here. New haircut means new season, right? So, today, we'll be talking about the first boss of Season 4, which is Caesar, in a battle called Battle of Rochest. We will, as always, we will go through the requirements, I'll show you the gameplay, and show you all the special attacks, some new mechanics that are implemented into the Season 4, and hopefully, by the end of the video, you will see that Caesar is just a salad. So prepare that dressing for him. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. The requirements for Caesar. Now, the attack cap for Caesar is 39,000. And it's a major leap, right? Uh, versus Aiden. That was the last battle of Season 3. So, yeah, you will need quite some upgrades. Now, the critical amount, the amount of critical resistance that you will need is 195. That's a lot. Also, the crit cap has drastically increased, and it's now 195. So you'll need 195 critical to fully crit cap him. The amount of counter force increased as well, and increased quite some. Now you need 155 counter force to be able to deal 100% of the damage to the boss. Now, if we go to the quick battle, we will see that the amount of power has increased drastically as well. You will need 54,000 power. The technique raised as well. It's 240, and you can start uh, boarding the quick battles uh, with only 131 uh, counter force. This is all for the requirements. Time to dress the salad. Alright, it's time to battle Caesar. Now, in Season 4... Uh, the raid battles are a little bit different, at least the first two of them, which is Caesar and Nile, which will be the next raid. Whenever you start the raid, you will have to go through a pre-dungeon, a little dungeon that is going to be filled with trash monsters that are very easy to kill, and uh, there's going to be a sub-boss in the middle that you're going to kill uh, quite fast, and uh, he's going to drop um, materials, Season 4 materials, and Awakening Stones. And then you proceed a little bit further, and you're going to end up right over here, before the boss battle itself. Now, Season 4 also has a new mechanic implemented into it for all the raid bosses. That mechanic is called Toughness Bar. Right over here, uh, below the HP bars of his Divine Armor Caesar, you can see this blue bar. This is Toughness Bar. Now, Toughness Bar represents whenever uh, Caesar will be available to get a hold move on. So, uh, for Spell Sword Arisha, for example, it's a temporal shift, right? All these stun moves that you can use that, lar that use a large amount of SP. So, whenever you attack uh, Caesar, that uh, bar is going to deplete. And once it depletes completely, it will stop flashing, it will stop flashing, and you'll be able to land one stun slash hold move on the boss. Once it's going to gray out. Once you do that, once it's depleted, once you use the hold move, uh, the bar will replenish to 100% once again, and he will not be, you, you won't be able to suppress the boss. Now, let's go, uh, let's get back, let's uh, look at some of the patterns of Caesar and what he does. The battle in Caesar uh, divides into two parts. One of them is just a normal fight, whenever he does uh, his normal attacks, and a laser phase. And then, then he gets back, when he transitions from the laser phase, he gets back to the normal phase. This particular pattern, he just uh, attacks, keeps on attacking with his Morning Star. Watch out for uh, his combos. Uh, he's quite, quite strong uh, since it's Season 4, right? So uh, you will be receiving quite some damage 
if you get hit. Now, this this right here, this particular attack, it's quite fast, just like the backslash of Aiden. So watch out; it might take a lot of you might take some damage from that. You see, I depleted the toughness bar, right? It grayed out, right? You see, it's grayed out. So now you're free to use any of your hold moves, but only one. So the toughness bar, basically, um, doesn't allow you to chain hold the boss anymore. Making it, like, super easy to do. As you can see, I did my hold move, the bar replenished, and you can't suppress Caesar anymore. When Caesar uh, HP bar... Uh, depletes to seven bars, he transitions into laser phase, right over here. He goes into the cutscene, he gains iframes, so you can attack him. And this laser, right over here, starts uh, starts to work around uh, the arena. So if you played, if you played different, uh, different kinds of MMOs, you, uh, we usually call it a uh, noob killer. So it's just, it, usually in the games, in different games, that thing would one-shot you. But here, if you get if you get in a contact with the laser, you're going to receive a really, really bad damage. And it's going to apply a debuff on you for 10 seconds, uh, which is called burn. You're going to burn. Uh, it uh, debuffs you, and you start taking some damage over time, right over here. Uh, 300 HPs per second you're losing. Which, you know, 10 seconds, 300 HPs, that's quite a lot, right? So watch out for it. Uh, you can block and dodge from it, but I would highly recommend to stand uh, at the edge of the arena. Here, the laser won't hurt you, so you will be safe. These, uh, this particular pattern, this um, attack, this... Um, combo that he does. Watch out for the last hit. It releases a shockwave. Watch out for it. Watch out for the laser. Keep that in mind. Now, one of the things that is quite, quite deadly in Caesar. Uh, let's slow down here a little bit. It's Caesar's KO move, and he uses that a lot du during the laser phase. How to figure out when Caesar is about to do it? He goes into this particular stance, so he puts his Morning Star on his shoulder, right? Then he does a dash, that's one attack, and the other attack after it. So two hits. He, he does two hits. Let's watch it again. Right over here. One, and then two. So the second hit is what triggers the KO. So, <clears throat> usually Caesar would miss the first hand, so it's not really, you don't really need to worry much about it. And you just need to know that whenever he goes into the stance and he puts his Morning Star on his shoulder, that means he's gonna do the KO move. So, just ignore the first hit and watch out for the second one. Block or dodge from it and make to make sure he doesn't throw you in the air and just shoot you and kill you because it instantly kills you after some time when some time passes uh, the camera will focus on Caesar that means that the laser phase is over and he's going back he's doing the f the last uh, pattern he's ready to do the last pattern right over here he does some attacks here and there and then he leaps into the air and start uh, Start shooting in different directions, so watch out for these shockwaves. And after that, he crashes down, he crashes down, he releases the shockwave. Uh, watch out for it, dodge and block, as always. As you can see, the, the toughness bar has been depleted again, and he gets stunned. Now, the toughness bar in Caesar, you can suppress him during the, um, during the laser phase. So please be advised, don't use your hold moves during the... Uh, during the phase of the lasers, okay? And one of the other things that possess some threat in Caesar is called Sticky Bombs. And he, d he has two different, pa two different patterns. One of them, uh, he does a combo, right? And then shoots in front of him. This one, this particular one, that's the first one. He flashes red, right? 
shoots the shoots the bombs around him and you just have to make sure that you're dodging during that red attack during when he flashes when it's when he stops flashing start dodging or blocking he throws he spins around and throws these sticky bombs around himself so if you are unfortunate enough they might stick to your character and you will receive damage after they detonate they usually detonate uh, after five seconds or as you can see on the video if you pass the bomb right right over here it will explode you will receive damage and you're gonna receive the burn debuff that's gonna tick once again 300 hps per second for 10 seconds which is a lot of damage right that's one of his uh sticky bombs patterns the other one he does a combo he's in the middle of the combo right and in uh at some point at some point he flashes red and shoots the sticky bombs right over here he shoots the sticky bombs in front of him so whenever whenever he flashes red in middle of the combo what you need to always keep in mind stay behind him stay behind him or just dodge behind him because otherwise as you can see four bombs sticked on me and if they detonate on me and i don't block after five seconds and when they explode if i don't block or dodge i'm gonna receive uh, quadruple damage right over here right and that's what i did i just warped around uh negating all these sticky bombs so once again let's go with, through it once again um two flat two times he flashes red one of them he starts the pattern by flashing red that means just dodge and block around and make sure you don't walk uh walk over the bombs right to get damage and the second one he does it in the middle of his combo he flashes red and just make sure you don't stand in front of him continue dpsing uh caesar uh, after that if the battle takes too much time uh caesar is going to end up uh going to the laser face once again and you will have to just go through it and just keep in mind you can't suppress you can't use hold slash stun moves on caesar during the uh, laser phase just continue dpsing him and uh, make sure that uh, once again, you don't get hit by the sticky bombs, you don't get hit by the lasers. Remember what I told you about the KO, and you will defeat him. Caesar is actually quite an easy boss to deal with. Probably because he's the first, I guess, <laughs> the first boss of Season 4. Enjoy your victory, and I really hope you will get some succession shards, or maybe even a Malician Essence. So this is everything you need to know about Caesar, the first boss of Season 4, in a battle, Battle of Rochest. In the next episode, we'll be talking about the current, the recent uh, boss of Season 4, which is Nile, in a battle called Clan of Darkness. This was Legend Arma TV. Thank you so much for watching. It's a great pleasure to make these videos and see all the love from you, all your support. It's 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 amazing, really. I, I really can't express how happy I am to help others. Please join my Discord or stop by Twitch. Um, the information is going to be down below. Uh, if you have any additional questions, uh, I will be glad to help you out to figure out I'll see you in the next video. Be safe. I love you all. Bye.